Yes, Max, look up here. This is Max. He loves school and hanging out with his mates. I like my classmates. They are fun and caring friends. They understand how difficult a pod can be. OK, Max, have you got something that you want to say? Pod is this book right here. It's one of the ways that Max communicates with the people around him. Is it the blue? I don't know. Maybe hello? Max has trouble Hi. speaking Red. because he has cerebral palsy, a condition that affects your movement. Messages going from the brain to different parts of the body can get a bit jumbled and it can affect people in different ways, depending on what part of the brain is having problems. Is that a yes to feelings? Mm. The pod is filled with pictures and words. Or is it in this page? And by asking Max questions, his friends can understand what he wants to say. Health and body feelings? I like using the pod. It's fun and special. Days and time, food. For a long time, pod's been one of Max's main ways of communicating. But more recently, a nifty piece of technology called Compass has given Max the ability to speak for himself. Where is Mr Jessup? It uses a sensor that tracks Max's eye movements so he can select words on the screen. Compass is great and I can communicate independently. So look to the left of the screen. Okay, okay. It's not the only cool thing it can do though. That that Earlier this better. year, Max's teacher and some of his classmates decided to use it to design some games Max can play on his computer. That's it, where the red dot is, well done. Our teacher said that we should make a game for Max and then it kind of went from there. Uh, we all thought of our own ideas and I went with the maze and one of my other friends, he went with a car racing game. No, just go copy it. Just add that and then put that there. They use coding and programs like this to create all of the different parts of the game. These games, he's, he smiles a lot when he plays them because he really enjoys being able to play games um, with the eye gaze instead of um, just watching someone else play them. All right, Max, the point of this game is to help you strengthen your eye gaze for getting around the track. Thanks to the games, Max has gotten a lot closer to some of his classmates and come away with some new friends. Oh, you was getting there? Yeah, I was going Max. When I first met Max, I didn't really know how to interact with him because I didn't know about the pod or eye gaze. So, but then when I started making this, I interacted a lot more with him and me and Max have a good friendship now. These guys will all be showing off their games at a big technology competition next week. You have to make a game with a reason and our reason was for Max. You're almost there, Max. They say while it would be pretty cool to win, they're just happy they can share the games they've made with one of their mates.